So you want to do some metallics and um, there are a lot of solutions in the market where that you can find, you know, like um, uh, paints like uh, uh, Vallejo paints, uh, Mr. Metal color, I don't know, this is the same as this, only the things different and you also have Tamiya uh, metallic paint, this is silver, and of course my all-time favorite but this is just for me, it's Alclad, I really love the, the finishing effect of the of the Alclad paint, but these are paints. Well, of course the, the, the in the market you can find some metallic pigments I can show you like AK Dark Steel Pigment or Mick Productions Fantasy Line which is uh, which has this one still op uh, an open I haven't used this one I used the, the brass one I think really nice one but these are pigments so uh, Ushi launched the metal polishing powder I was really eager to try because I, I saw some uh, some of some of this stuff online and I thought well I should give this a try and with pigments, the, 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 the in powders, the thing that I like more is um, if you use on a flat surface, like a piece of paper or something like that, and you apply it, the excess of the pigment, you can always put it back on the bottle. Um, another thing is this this powders can be mixed together to get uh, a nice finishing. You have iron, chrome, and steel. Um, I'll already tried some of um, some of these products to see how they how they work and on the the previous one this is uh, these are some transmission some tank transmissions which I don't know if you can see the, the shine this one is, is is chrome you can see really the shine of it this is a, a steel one and I think this is iron so the this I tried before. Uh, I have some problem with my cotton swabs because my little girl was playing with them and they are really really in bad shape but let me try to show you. I will be testing the, the chrome one right now for you to see. I'm not going to, to, to compare this this product with the, with the others and other brands because I really don't like to compare products. I think that we should test, we should use different techniques and see what is best for us or for the type of job we have in hand. So um, let's try this out. This is really simple. Just, we'll just get some piece of paper to get the excess. I have um, a radiator here. Um, this radiator is uh, a resin part. Uh, I just primed it with uh, with Vallejo black primer and then applied the coat of uh, of uh, gloss black and and the piece just comes like this so what you do if you're using this for the first time what you do is just simply open the bottle you your cotton swabs just dip them in try you can take a fairly good amount of uh, of powder because the excess will be back in the bottle so don't be shy or depends on the work you're doing so what you do is just you just apply it really generously really nice just rub it just rub it The problem with metallics and uh, and uh, black is when you're filming, it's really hard to show. I hope you guys can see more or less what I'm talking about. Actually, let me just apply the powder. So here it is. Let me get to try to get a better lighting in here. So what you do now? You apply 
the powder and with the a new part of the cotton swab you're just going to do a nice polish oh my god this is really great really nice effect I don't know if you can see it, but it's. You can see the shine of that chrome? Really, really nice. Fortunately, the cotton swabs are really in bad shape. You, you may think, oh, but uh, radiators are not chrome. Yes, it's true. This is just uh, this is just to show the, the potential potential of the product. It's really nice. Really has a very nice good shine to it. Look at this shine. Really nice. So, yeah, I got the. You see a little bits of uh, powder here. What I'm going to do is just put it back here. Don't know why. And okay. Let's close it. So, I think this is a really easy pro process to do. There's nothing significant to talk about the technique of applying this. Really simple, really straightforward. Um, if I had to do any take any pointers on this is first of all get some good quality <laughs> cut, uh, cotton swabs because this one is really suck and second use gloves uh, I think gloves while using this problem product will be will be a nice will be a nice advantage and the black the the, the black gloss uh, underneath I think it's really nice, it's a nice, really smooth um, coat to apply it. And I just like very much the. Let me try just a, a normal piece of cotton to see how it feels the shine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. And. Uh, just let your imagination flow and see how it where it will take you and I really like to try this on a bigger surface more flat to see how it goes but actually I really enjoy the the quality of this one well, so let's try the the steel one the steel one. Let's, let's just try this for instance it's a really nice one Let's try it on a on an oven. Seal is a little seal is more darker. These cotton swabs are really bad. So with the new tip, just polish it. Oh, here it comes! All that beautiful shine. Really nice.
So, very nice simple product to use, and uh, I will try it on a, on a bigger surface. Uh, just have to think a model or two to try it on, but I'll definitely try this one. And hope you guys enjoy. See ya.